guys welcome back to my channel i know it's been a minute probably about two and a half weeks since i've been on here but i am back life has just been a little bit busy and i've been doing some reflecting as well i've noticed we've gained some more subscribers here thank you so much for subscribing and if this is your first video seeing me hi i'm annika welcome to my channel i'm so happy to have you here and i hope you stick around because i've been doing some thinking about this channel and i really want to focus it primarily on fashion lifestyle and travel i don't know if you guys have noticed but i love fashion and a lot of my videos are already fashion related so that is the direction I will be taking this channel in in the future I have a lot of new video ideas coming up I'm so excited for them so yeah I hope you stick around and without further ado let's get into this video so today's video is going to be a what's in my bag video if you guys have been subscribed to me for a while you would know that I've done one of these before on my Michael Kors bag but I did this video a while ago a little bit after I graduated college so a lot of the things that I carried in my bag were very college related for example nowadays I don't carry my computer everywhere with me so I don't always need a bigger bag with me so I thought I would update you guys about what I carry in my bag as well as the fact that I just bought my dream bag this has been something that's been years in the making I've always been looking for it online keeping my eye out saving up money I work very hard for my money by the way just a little disclaimer I don't get money from my parents for this kind of stuff at all it is all mine and on top of that I am a sucker for a good deal so I love to thrift shop I love to shop secondhand online pre-owned pre-loved whatever you would like to call it so this bag is a pre-owned bag and it is a YSL bag. Guys, I cannot tell you how long I've been dreaming of owning one of these bags. Obviously like in the future, since I'm obsessed with them, I would love to have just an array of them in all shapes, colors, styles, but that'll probably have to wait into the far, far future. <laughs> but as of right now, this is my baby. I love her so much. I actually got this bag on Poshmark and I'll tell you guys a little bit about it just because when I was watching these videos, I found it very interesting where people got them for how much etc etc so like I said I got this bag on Poshmark which is a secondhand shopping app and the seller did not have the receipt anymore or any of the packaging some people like to keep them some people don't it doesn't necessarily mean it's a fake bag definitely if you're shopping secondhand know the differences between real and fake but if you're struggling a little bit the beauty about Poshmark is that if you spend over $500 on something it automatically gets sent to the headquarters to get authenticated. So this bag has been authenticated. I was already very familiar with YSL handbags just because I love them so much. I did all my research. I've been in stores. I know what they actually feel like to hold, what they look like. So I knew that what I was getting was most likely authentic. And then of course, getting it sent to the headquarters and getting the test taken just verified it for me. Also, if you guys were wondering, this is what the tag looks like from Poshmark. It'll be taped to your package. That's what this little sticker is. And then on the back, it just says, thank you for your purchase. Our luxury experts have confirmed the authenticity of your YSL bag reviewed by and I think the initials of the person that checked it out it's all yours ready to style we hope you love it and it's from the Poshmark authentication team so yeah I hope this is real I can't verify that it necessarily is but Poshmark is a very well loved respected authentic site it's not a scammer site obviously there are fakes on all types of sites including Poshmark but that is why I believe they started this test just to make people feel more secure about it so to be completely transparent with you guys I bought this bag for approximately $800 the seller sold it to me for $740 and then with shipping and tax it was an extra $60 so it was about 800 definitely over 500 so that is why it was sent to get the test done I'll give you guys a bit of a close-up it barely has any damage it has slight scuffing right here it's got a couple of minor stains right here which I actually did my research on and it turns out that you can remove some stains like this with a nail polish remover and it worked on a few of these I just haven't gotten around to finishing it so that was amazing to find out and if you are looking for ways to remove stains from your leather bags definitely do your research don't just use nail polish remover because I said so that's just what worked for my type of leather and if you're worried at all about damaging your bag you can always just take it to a shop and ask an expert on leather what to do so with all that out of the way let's get into what is in my YSL bag the first time I actually used this bag was very recent it was my friend's birthday and we spent the evening in San Francisco all of us girls just going clubbing so what I have packed in here is pretty much what I would take for a night out I don't exactly know what I have so some of this will be a surprise but let's open her up once you pop the lid up we have the little Saint Laurent stamp right there and then this is what it looks like from the inside by the way this is a size medium I think 
it's just called an envelope bag and oh I forgot to mention so I bought it for $800 but retail price the seller since she didn't have the receipt didn't quite remember what the original price was but I have it on my phone I found another listing for this bag that was very very similar it's the same style size medium and it's in the color black and this was also listed on Poshmark and the price on her receipt says 2190 so that is what I assume this bag most likely retailed for I don't know the color unfortunately like the name of it but it's just a nude bag just gonna put that back in there so <laughs> Typically what I have in my bag is my phone. It's an iPhone 10 XR and I have this gorgeous square marble case on it that I love so so much. I actually bought my boyfriend the matching one in black so our phones look so cute together. <laughs> I just love marble so much. I think it's so simple and classy and gorgeous. So that is my phone. The next thing I carry in here is a deodorant. I've actually been using Tom's long lasting 24 hour odor protection. Mountain Spring, that's what I was looking for. Tom's Mountain Spring scent. Let me just tell you, I never thought in a million years that I would be using an all natural deodorant. These things never used to work for me. Oh fun, it's a men's deodorant. Didn't know that. <laughs> Not that it matters at all. Honestly, I buy everything men's, men's deodorant, men's razors, they always just work better. So pro tip right there, if anything marketed towards women that you're using for hygiene reasons isn't really working for you, try men's. But yeah, anyway, so this one's been working really well for me lately. Love that. It's aluminum free. I'm not really familiar with all the ingredients. I hope it is all natural. That's what I've heard Tom's is. So yeah, that's the deodorant that I use. Also, I forgot to show you, but inside the bag, it is one huge main compartment and then a very small little card holder here. So I'll just show you what's in there really quickly. So in the card holder for a night out, I typically only bring my credit card because you'll be buying some stuff if you're out and my ID to get into those bars. I myself am such a nosy person so I'll show you guys my ID picture it's so funny I feel like I was just about to blink in that photo so I look kind of high even though I don't do any drugs ever but I just think it's so funny <laughs> then heading back into this main compartment I have a chapstick this is the vanilla bean lip balm from Sprouts I like this one it's a little I've noticed melty like it really can be too much just use a little bit at a time but it works really well for me so I recommend this one I'm not a huge expert on lip balms and I just kind of picked up this brand because my mom was using it but I've been really interested in trying out some other ones I'll probably do that in the future but for right now this is my go-to then next up I have my lipstick and my lip gloss this is actually the combo that I'm wearing on my lips right now and it is the Too Faced melted matte in shade child star and the NARS velvet lip glide in shade stripped. I learned the method of layering these two from the McKnight twins. They have an amazing YouTube channel. Love watching them. I'll have them linked down below. But yeah, this is my go-to lip combo at the moment for nude lips. I love it so much. The formulas are just amazing. Thank you so much girls for showing me these products because they are like a necessity for me now. All right, so next up is a hand sanitizer. This is also just one that I grabbed for my mom real quick for that night out. Apparently it's an all natural hand sanitizer, alcohol free. Um, not really sure how well it works. It says kids safe formula, so I don't know something to note. I mean, any hand sanitizer that you guys like to use, just use that. But I just recommend bringing one along for a night out because, you know, you're meeting a lot of people, you're touching bars, you're just, you know, your hands get grimy and you don't always want to run to the bathroom. So a hand sanitizer is a must. So next up are my keys. Nothing really to say about these. I don't really have any keychains. Kind of wish I did. Like one of those floofy things, but I also feel like that's so like common and basic, but I'm also kind of like that, so I don't really care. But at the moment, I just don't have one. I just have this little bottle opener keychain that I love. I went to college in Santa Barbara, so this little palm tree just reminds me of the beach and I love it. Next up, I have some gum. This is Orbit's Sweet Mint, I believe it's called actually nowhere on the package but I've been using it for so long it's definitely called sweet mint <laughs> I honestly love this gum so much it's definitely a minty gum but it's not strong like the ones that give you that intense cold feeling in your mouth it's just a really nice soft mint flavor I don't know how else to describe it but I need gum when I'm going out and meeting new people and dancing right next to them and talking really close and in their ear and in their face so gum necessary so next up is a perfume I have no idea why I'm carrying around the entire bottle I have those little sort of squeezer things where you can pop the top off and then kind of squeegee it not squeegee it was like syringe it almost by pumping it into a little portable small tube but I guess I was in a hurry and just threw the entire dang thing into my bag, which is probably why it's so heavy. But this is the Supermodel Perfume by Victoria's Secret. I feel like as we're approaching springtime, this scent 
kind of like a powdery floral scent. I've been digging that one a lot more lately. I love the YSL Black Opium scent, this one right here. But I like to wear this more around fall or winter time. It is such a sort of, I don't know how to describe it. It just makes me feel like you want to cuddle up next to your man or something. It also gives me very sort of sophisticated, independent woman vibes. My boyfriend loves this scent, by the way. And my dad also, who hates perfumes, I wore this around him and he didn't say anything. And I asked him, do I smell okay? And he was just like, hmm not bad and let me tell you he hates perfumes i don't know if he's like allergic to it or just very sensitive to the scent but he didn't mind this one so ladies try this one out but anyway batch the one that i'm using at the moment for the spring and summertime it's definitely a more dusty sort of floral smell it's not grandma-y i'll say that but it kind of has that vibe i'm sure some people will think it's grandma-y but i think it's just a little more flirty girl i don't know it has more of a youthful scent. Yeah, it's hard to describe. I don't even think they sell it anymore. I got this secondhand from someone, but this is a perfume that I'm currently kind of obsessed with. And you always want a good perfume on a night out because you'll be very close with people, dancing, sweating. You want to smell good. So deodorant, perfume. All right, so next up, I have a portable charger as well as a USB cord. Necessities for me. I film everything. And I don't mean like I Snapchat everything or Instagram story everything. I just mean like I film for myself. I just love to have those memories to look back on. So since we went to San Francisco for one of my best friend's birthdays, of course I want those memories. So I filmed a lot while we were out there. And because of that, my phone always gets low on battery. So I always need a full charger and a cord. All right, we're down to our last two items, guys. And one of them is nail glue. I wear glue-ons. I've never gotten my nails professionally done like acrylics. I would love to someday, but that's just not really what I want to spend my money on at the moment. So I wear these glue-ons. I get them from Wish. I'll try to have them linked down below, but I trim them myself, file them, paint them, and then glue them on. And if I'm ever out and one of them decides to pop off... She's going right back on. So yeah, I always carry one of these with me. Oh, also, I got this from Wish as well. I'll try to have that link down below too. And last, but most certainly not least, I carry around safety pins because I don't know about you, but on a night out, I like to kind of dress a little more scandalously. And sometimes those bodysuits or tops or even skirts, you know, they're not always like the best materials or they're delicate like lace. And sometimes straps or things will break. So I always carry around safety pins to secure anything that might need to be reattached in the moment. And I don't want to have to worry about holding a strap or holding my skirt up to have a good time. So safety pins are a must have for me. And with that, we have dug out everything I carry. Oh, I lied. There's a hair tie in here. I never really wear my hair up, so this isn't really for me, but you know, on a night out, if people drink too much, they gotta have a moment in the bathroom. I personally never drink, so it's not really an issue for me, but I don't know, I just carry a hair tie just in case, you know? Gotta get your girls. So, with that, we have reached the end of what is in my bag. This is what the inside looks like, by the way, with nothing in it. In my opinion, it's actually very deep, like not I don't know, not deep, but it can hold a decent amount. Like you saw everything I just pulled out of it. So yeah, there's the inside. There's the little card holder right there. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it says Saint Laurent Paris made in Italy. And that is pretty much it. Let's just get everything back in here and I'll show you guys how I close it really quickly. So obviously it has a magnetic thing right here. So it's pretty self-explanatory. But what I mean is what I didn't realize about this bag is that even though it's magnetic, sometimes you really have to move it around for a second. When I'm out, I kept looking down trying to figure out if it had latched or not. So once I bring the flap over, you can kind of hear it hit it. But then I just kind of go... There. Once you hear that snap, you are good to go. Your stuff is staying in there. And yeah, that is everything I carry in my bag. Oh, also, there is this back pocket as well, but I don't really carry anything in there. And typically, I carry it on just the one long chain. But I love that you have the option love that sound of having it kind of higher up that is pretty much all i have to say about this bag i am so happy with this purchase and what i love so much about the color that i chose is that it's very easy to wear during the daytime and at night so it's very versatile it goes with pretty much any outfit unless you're wearing like all black and prefer a black bag but even so this would go with all black it would just stand out a bit more and on top of that it fits everything that i need i think the size medium is just a perfect size large can be a bit much small can sometimes be too 
too little so just like goldilocks i'll go for right in between oh and also since this was kind of a nighttime what's in my bag video for the daytime i kind of keep a lot of the same things in here that perfume could be reduced and there is still a little bit more room so i would probably fit some sunglasses in there as well and maybe a small water bottle or something just anything you might need for the daytime it really is just the perfect bag for me i am so in love with it i can't get enough so anyway that brings us to the end of this video i really hope you guys enjoyed it let me know also if you'd like to see a styling video i was looking for a few of those when i was looking for which bags to get and i couldn't find that many so if you want to see how i style my ysl bag just let me know down below also while you're at it don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more content like this and go ahead and give this video a like if you enjoyed it it really does help out my channel and lets me know what you guys like to see and with all that said i I really do hope this video was helpful i hope you guys enjoyed it and i hope you stick around for all of the fashion related content i have coming up anyway i love you guys so much thank you so much for watching i hope you're having a great day or night wherever you are and i'll see you in the next video Mwah.